You will be performing three training tasks, each of which builds upon the skills learned in the previous task. For each task, you will first learn with your dominant hand. Then, when a specific level of proficiency is reached, you will move on to your non-dominant hand. After you have been trained in all three tasks, you will repeat the training, this time under time delay conditions. The training task board consists of six hollow rubber pegs arranged in two rows. For each of the tasks, you will start with the far left peg moving across the far row, then move to the near left peg and move across the near row. During this video, you will observe a surgeon with extensive Raven experience demonstrate each task. Use your dominant hand to touch each of the six rubber pegs, starting with the far left moving across the far row, then the near left moving across the near row. Note your position in space by using lighting cues such as shadows. You know you are not yet touching an object if you do not see it deflect or deform. This task will require you to re-index your hands, also known as clutching. To clutch, take your foot off the foot pedal and reposition your hands in the workspace of the Omni. Then, when your hands are repositioned, press the foot pedal back down and continue your movement of the surgical tools. While you will be focused on moving the dominant hand, be sure to keep the tool tips of the non-dominant hand in your field of view. Use your dominant hand to dip the grasper tips into the center of each of the six rubber pegs, starting with the far left moving across the far row, then the near left moving across the near row. This task builds on the first, but now adds orientation of the tool tips. You will now need to clutch both for position, as you did before, and also for rolling the tool and articulation of the wrist. Again, you will be focused on moving the dominant hand, but be sure to keep the tool tip of the non-dominant hand in your field of view. Use your dominant hand to grasp the wall of each of the six rubber pegs, starting with the far left, moving across the far row, then the near left, moving across the near row. This task builds on the previous task, but now adds grasping and ungrasping. You may find the jaws of the tool close as you move and reorient. If the jaws become closed, grasp, then ungrasp to reopen the jaws. Make sure to judge the depth of the jaws before grasping to ensure that at least 50% of the jaws grasp the rubber wall. Again, you will be focused on the dominant hand, but be sure to keep the tool tip of the non-dominant hand in your field of view.